What's up, guys? It's Marf. It is October 16, 2018, and it's uh, 7.53 p.m. Um, so the entire world just had an outage of YouTube. Um, I will have to be honest, when I first checked uh, YouTube, I was trying to watch a video, and it just said Air 404, then it said Air 500. And to be honest, I thought I was deleted. In fact, I tried both channels, it was deleted, and then I tried um, even a third really old channel that I had, and it wasn't it wasn't up and running. So I thought, man, did I get in trouble for having uh, two channels? I'm thinking all this stuff internally. I restart my phone. I read uh, forms, and it says, you know, reset your cache. And then I get um, these emails. And what ended up happening is I linked to a tweet. Uh, I saw that Jordan C Sather posted um, saying, you know, YouTube is down for anybody else. He had over like 750 responses or 750 likes and just a whole page of people from England, Canada, all over the world with their um, internet down. So then I go over Twitter, Dabu, all of these people, uh, Unirock, all these people are tweeting that they are totally down. Then I, I'm getting all these emails. I get three different emails saying that this is some sort of military op. And I'm like, oh, whatever. And I'm still thinking, man, maybe this is them resetting it for like a new adpocalypse algorithm, whatever else. Then I get matching emails and you guys can help me on this one. Somebody said that there was a video of a of somebody in uniform saying that the moon was going to be hit and this is something whatever and then it was posted and it started going viral it hit trending so it was on one of the main pages it had uh, hundreds of thousands of views before all of this happened and my only thought was is even if it's not that what if a national secret gets out onto youtube what would they do you would think that the government would literally have them quarantine it, shut it down, and delete any kind of information that got out. We have not seen, like say if Edward Snowden uh, came out and said something or leaked another document that was completely undue for. With the amount of people that have screencasting that can actually copy videos, paste it to a new channel, they would have to basically shut the whole thing down and basically eradicate it. So I don't know what happened, but this is huge. At least they, the some reports are saying 80%. Some are saying the entire world. Some people, uh, now it's, of course, after about an hour. Uh, actually, it looks like about an hour and a half. I took a screenshot, and it looked like there were only 10 reports 45 minutes into it, and the outage map only showed a couple places in the U.S. But when you went to Twitter, you saw every place, Ohio, New York, uh, California, I got texts from uh, one of my good subscribers, Tony, saying, you know, he was out in, I believe, Nevada. So we had this go out everywhere. I mean, this was absolutely everywhere. So if you guys saw any video um, in the trending, and we're talking about the main trending, not like a video that has a bunch of stuff, like the number one, two, three, four spot, they usually have a hashtag, and it was saying that our moon was in danger. Now, I cannot confirm that, and that's why I'm asking you guys to help me. As far as getting three matching emails, and then getting uh, other emails saying that it was some sort of military op, I can say this at least. The emails saying it was a military op are from normal people, or at least people I don't know personally. So it wasn't my source, it wasn't somebody that... Um, I haven't even talked to my guys yet. So I will I will definitely keep you filled in. You guys know that, uh, most of you know, I know I have a lot of new subscribers. I have been taking a break since the presidential alert. I did one video since then. Uh, I had three letter agencies asking me why I was uh, direct messaging with uh, Snowden, which by the way, never got a response. I just, you know, messaged him. It's not like he messaged me back. Either way, this was extremely weird. This is either one of the biggest hack jobs. They're going to come out with a story saying that um, my guess, too, was they just said for us creators that uh, they were going to redo the creator studio. So I don't know what actually happened, and I don't think a lot of people will. But they're going to tell us what actually happened, and I don't know. I think that uh, it's so compartmentalized. I don't believe that all of YouTube goes to one server. I don't see how many... Um, how so many places could go down at once. So what do you guys think? Comment below. I, I, and I'm not trying to say anything about this at this point because 
literally had just started working about five minutes ago. Uh, thank you, Kim Brown, King, uh, King Him. Uh, we got uh, All Here's For You, Jaloopsy Lagos. None of these names I recognize, but welcome to my channel. Um, I really appreciate you guys, and please let me know what happens. I would love to hear YouTube's official side of this because that's pretty freaking crazy. I think there were a lot of creators out there that panicked uh, just about an hour ago. Uh, of course, this very well could be, we could see the algorithm completely change. It might have been a, a global reset. They might have changed rules. They might have implemented something that we don't know about. Who knows? But at this point, I think that YouTube is going to come back just a little different. I don't know. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Be safe. Be prepared. And Marf out.